Hi everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Google Tag Manager. My name is Danny, and today I will show you one of the implementations that you can do to integrate Google Analytics page view tracking into your homepage using Google Tag Manager. Generally, when you sign up for a Google Analytics account, you get a piece of code which you're supposed to implement and integrate into your homepage, but doing it through the Google Tag Manager is easier. So let's get started and see how we are supposed to do it. To start off, I'm going to create a whole new Google Analytics property by going to the admin and clicking on create new property. The website that will be for the sake of purpose uh, for the purpose of this demo is called new soon. And the domain is newsoon.com. We'll be using this for a variety of demos uh, throughout Google Analytics and Google Tag Manager. Uh, I'm just going to pick that this is related to uh, news and get the tracking ID. That's the important part. Now, when it comes to the traditional way of adding the universal tracking ID, you are supposed to copy this piece of code and paste it into every web page on your website. However, we are going to be doing it using the Google Tag Manager way, meaning all we need to, to know is the, uh, the tracking ID, which is referred to as the UAID or the Universal Analytics ID. I'm just going to copy this for my reference and go to Google Tag Manager. Again, this is the first time we're in Google Tag Manager. I have a bunch of other websites. So in order to create a new account, I click on Create New Account. And the home page that I will be working with is called New Soon. I will click. I can say Share Data Anonymously with Google and others. That's fine. And here is where you should uh, put your domain name, so newsoon.com. Obviously, we're dealing with a website, so we would click on a web container. If we were to implement such tracking within an Android app, we would click on Android. And if we were to use an iOS application, then we would be clicking on iOS. Before we move forward, um, we check everything and then click on Create. And obviously, we agree to the Tag Manager's terms of use. And here you go. Now we get the tracking code which we are supposed to add onto our header uh, of our homepage. So here I'm going to copy. And my homepage has been designed and implemented using WordPress. So what I generally would do is go to Appearance and then click on Editor. And I will be pasting the, go, uh, the Google Tag Manager code into the header file. So I will go to the theme header and navigate to the part which is right after the body tag. So right here we will paste the code which we just got from the GTM. There you go. And I'm going to update the file. By doing that, I'm pretty much done. My Google Tag Manager snippet has been added successfully to all of my web pages. Now I go back and click OK. This is the first step that you need to do, and you will be doing it only once. Now, for the sake of making things simpler, and obviously, I am going to um, use the Google Analytics ID, the tracking ID, because I'm going to be using it multiple times, I have decided to um, set it up as a variable. So all I'm going to do is copy that tracking ID. And right here, this is where your variables are. I will click on variables, go down and say new. And I need to create a constant. 
Now here you give it a name. The name that I generally go for is GA Tracking ID, which means the Google Analytics Tracking ID. And it's of type constant, and the value is what I just got from the Google Analytics. And I say create variable. Perfect. Now this variable is there with me in every tag and every trigger that I will be implementing in Google Tag Manager so we can reference it anytime without worrying about the ID itself. So today's video is special one because it's simple. It is the implementation of the page views universal analytics in Google Analytics. So the way we do it is very simple. We go to tags this is where you create most of your tags. And I'm going to cl click on New. Then scroll a little bit down. As you can see, here is where we give it the name. For the majority of my tags, I try to be very consistent in naming. And everything that is a Google um, Analytic Universal tag, that's how I start. The, you can name it whatever you want, but for my preference, I would like to keep it consistent and I would choose the product to be Google Analytics because my tag type is Universal Analytics. I click on it. There you go. This is where, in theory, I'm supposed to copy this code, this tracking ID, and place it here. But because I'm using variable names, all I have to do is remember GA tracking ID. There it is. Now I don't have to worry about it anymore. And I'm going to click on Enable Display Advertising Features. These are all kind of settings that Google puts in your face in hopes that you will accept these terms. And I gracefully do, do it. It's just going to make my uh, analytics even better. Then you go to Track Type. Obviously it's a page view. I click on continue and now is the final part. Where do we want to fire this tag? Obviously we want to fire it on all of our web pages. So I'm going to click on all pages and then click on create tag. There it is. It's done. All the work is such a simple task done using Google Tag Manager. Now all you have to do, you can go here and click on Preview. This will give you the ability to test your code before you actually publish it online. So it says right here, now previewing version 1. That's great. All I have to do is go to New Soon homepage. As you can see here, I'm going to expand this slightly. You can see tags fired on this page include my famous GAU tag page views. So it's successful and ready to be launched to the world. All I have to do is go up here and say publish. And it tells me that there are two unpublished changes. Basically, the variable that we created for the Google tracking ID and second was the tag itself. And that's it. We are ready. Click Publish Now and done. Here is the end of the first video and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you move away from implementing your code by copying it from Google Analytics into your subpages and using Google Tag Manager instead. It's a much better approach. And remember, all pages that contain the old universal uh, analytic tracking code should be removed and we should only use the Google Tag Manager way. Try not to run both at the same time because this is one of the worst nightmares. What it will do is basically double your page views and that is a very bad practice. So try to avoid it and I hope you enjoyed today's video and we are moving on to a next video which is also related to Google Tag Manager. So click on next and let's watch it together.